Welcome to part 20! And here we're starting the first ascent level. There are two ascent levels. And now, we finally have a chance to wield Looks the like mighty seven. Toxic Tranquilizer Rifle. Three left. <clears throat> we're gonna have to carry it. We don't have to, but I'm going to carry it all the way across the level without using it on anything because it's so powerful. I want to take down a T-Rex with it. That should be fun. But uh, to quote another walkthrough, the forest digital smelled of wet leaves, damp earth, rotting wood. To quote Digital Lame Fan on his walkthrough, which is now down because his account got suspended. <coughs> I, never, I don't really know why, but it did, which is sad. He was a, he was a good man. He made good let's plays. <coughs> Anyways, to quote him, he called this the T Rex Blaster 9000. And that's because in this level, if you carry it all the way to the end of the level, to the end of the level, you can kill a T Rex with it. Now we want to be like very seven. careful here. When I was little, I dreamed of a time when the entire world was covered by an ancient forest. Great hunters stalked in the cool darkness. Of that guy over there. Among silent huge An Alberta trees, Oaks and sequoias. We do not want to get eaten by an Alberta sore. I I'm pretty sure we don't. I wonder if the Alberta sores and raptors will fight. I've never really known that. Because I've never really seen it happen. I've never really bothered to try to use Tressa to put them in the same place. I don't think so, though, since you just seem to kind of wander right on past the raptor. And damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We do not want him to come and eat us. Do you understand? Oh my god. Help me! Help! I'm being chased by an Albertosaur! Jump like hell! I can still hear that bastard! Is he really still chasing me? Probably got raptors coming up from. Probably got raptors coming up on me. That Alberta sword is ruining all my plans. Uh, by the way, try playing this level with the toxic tranquilizer rifle with the woo cheat. This is the infinite ammo cheat. Never ending fun. These goddamn raptors. There was an M14 back over by that skeleton, but I didn't have a chance to get it because I was running from that damn Alberta store. Yeah, you. Eight shots. Grabbed again before he can kill you. Six. Phew. And try not to be a crap shot with the gun. Eight left. Try to be a crack shot, not a crap shot. I just love that word, crap sh crack shot, sorry. I don't know why. I'm glad that damn Albertosaur isn't chasing me anymore. And there are two more raptors over there. <laughs> Just, you know, going over here, seeing the sights. What's up, dudes? Seven.
You like to kill things, so do I. Five. Three. Thanks for understanding. How my life is more important than yours. I can smell the ocean. I appreciate that. I won't be needing that anymore. It's gonna be kind of easy to surpass, but Feels look full. behind this rock. It is more than worth it. Now we'll be able to defend ourselves against anything. Except a T-Rex, but actually we can defend ourselves against that because we've got this baby. Feels full. This is probably the most powerful we'll ever be for the rest of, for the rest of the game. We're loaded with the most powerful weapons possible, because the toxic tranquilizer rifle is the most powerful weapon in the game and you only get to use it once, like with its true full power. Three shots. That the ocean, which is just six rounds. As I mentioned before, a constant sliding texture. The sky is also a constant sliding texture. But it's like that in most games. The ocean, on the other hand, not so much. But the sky is pretty much always a sliding texture. I will Five, best you. Four, three, two, empty. Damn, I suck at aiming that Feels thing. full. I will best you. You must die. Thanks for dying. Now we need to go back and get our other gun, the most powerful gun in the game, because that gun is very important. We cannot live without that gun. We will not be able Three to survive. Shots. Yeah, you have an option. You either use it on, like, the Albertosaurs and stuff, or you can save it for the T-Rex. The thing is, that means you can only carry one weapon, because you gotta carry the other. Because you gotta carry the tranquilizer rifle around through the whole level. Now here, if you drop down into the water, there's actually no death trigger. So you'll just fall in, and then you'll be underwater, and you can roam around as freely as you want, but, uh, I wouldn't exactly recommend it. Because then you can't get back up unless you cheat. And there, there's the last tribe of raptor, the tribe C raptor. It's smaller than the tribe B raptors. It's about as big as tribe A, but it definitely has more health and does more damage. Now let's get up close and personal with him. He, do, he has 100 hit points and does more damage than a tribe B. Ah, I love when that kind of stuff happens. Also, if you need it, there's a hunting rifle over here. But we don't, because we've got this. What more could you want than this? Dinosaur Park. What a great idea. Isn't it, Anne? Sorry. Not, not much to say here. Just enjoy the scenery as I continue on my walk. By the way, we're trying to get up to the top of that mountain out there. Mount Watson. Because that's where the uh, satellite comm link is. What am I doing? Come on. Oh, wow. Maybe you'll be a bit more interesting. Come on. You are. Ah, how enjoyable. I'll go up and over there later. Probably in the next part, because we've only got one minute left in this part. And knowing how slow it moves. Actually, when you bunny hop, she doesn't move very slowly, but you know. Uh, Albertosaur! One easy thing to do here is to just climb on top of this rock, because then he can't get you and you can kill him. Then 
what I mean? You can snipe him. He's limping already. Oh well. Uh, I'll be back to kill him in the next part. See you guys then.